welcome to Quasi's Bell Tower with your host, Quasi. Today we are going to make a hanging brazier. So let's get to it. So the items that we will need to make this hanging brazier will be quarter inch square dowels. Um, you can actually get these at Lowe's, probably even Home Depot. I ordered these online, they're like three feet long and that's basically what you get at one of the hardware stores. But you need them to be a quarter inch. Um, I decided to buy these, I think I got like 10 of them. I, I can't remember the price, but I'll put a link down if you wanna look into ordering them. And then we have the wooden dowels that I've used in a previous project. Now these are like really, really small. They're smaller than one eighths. I can't remember exactly the size, like 332 or something like that. Um, I can only find these at Walmart. The only place that carries them and I have no clue how long they're gonna carry them for. Um, they were 94 cents, now I think they're like a buck something. But I've got a bunch of them so I should be good with those for a while. Some hemp string. Uh, I got this also at Walmart, but you can get it at craft stores. It's very thin, um, and the thinner the better, because you want, you know, it's a it's miniature that we're working on, so you're gonna need some thin stuff. Definitely gonna need yourself some super glue. And then I have some 1 8 dowels here. Um, these are a foot long each. Uh, I'm not sure where I got these. Probably like Hobby Lobby is where I got them. Maybe Michael's. Um, but you know, you can get 1 8 uh, dowels from Walmart or any pretty much any hardware store too. Um, you're going to need some some chain for this. This was a six foot chain. I got this at Walmart and it was six feet of chain. You can get chain, uh, thin chain like this on Amazon. Then you'll need a 1 8 drill bit and a 3 32 inch drill bit. And then I also have some tweezers and some snips here that I will have to use to uh, cut the chain and bend it back into shape. You're also going to need, and I know you guys cannot see this at all probably, but there's this tiny little loop and you can get these at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Loop size, I'm not really sure what you want um, or what size this is really, but it's small, but it's bigger than the chain and we're going to need that too. And uh, I think that's it. So now we can get to building. So now we have our quarter inch square dowel and we're gonna mark this at four inches. And then we're gonna use our mini hand saw to cut this. Now I'll put a link to these. Uh, this is a really nice tool and it does come with different blades. So I'll put that out there for you guys. So then we'll go ahead and set this at the four inch mark. Just slide it through. It'll probably just take a few passes, just like that. Now I'll make this the top piece. Uh, it doesn't look 100% straight, but it doesn't matter. We're going to be chipping this piece of wood up and uh, giving it some nicks and stuff like that anyway, so no big deal. So now we're going to make a mark on here about two millimeters above the top here. And uh, I'm gonna center this the best I can, but it's about two millimeters from the top. So then we'll bring it over to our drill press. And if you don't have a drill press, um, you can use a hand drill. Um, usually you can find it at a, like Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I don't know if it'll fit a 1 8 drill bit. I don't think it will. Um, maybe you can come up with something else to do it, but it will fit the 332 with no problem. So we're gonna go ahead and try to center this up the best we can. Make sure that's nice and centered on it. And we're gonna hold this down because when I drill this, it's gonna to try to push the wood into the hole and we don't want that. And we're only gonna drill about halfway through this dowel here. We're not gonna go all the way through on this one. So here we go. And that should be, yes, that's deep enough, definitely. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna flip it on its side, measure this out an inch from the top, and then we'll make another small mark. And said, make sure you turn it on its side so you're doing the next piece. So you got your dot here, and then you got your hole from where that was. And now we're gonna switch out the drill bits to the, so we're gonna go from 1 8 to 332 drill bit now. So now we'll go ahead and center this, make, making sure it's centered. 
and it is. And now we'll turn this bad boy on and drill right through this. So now you can see we have our one hole there and then you turn it to a side and you have the other hole there. And now we can move on to the assembly part. So now what I had to do is grab a board because I don't want to cut through my air hockey table now. And what I'm going to do is take the 1 8 round dowel and set it up on here. And I'm going to mark it at 2 and an eighth inches. And that's where I will cut it. I will grab my little hand saw and I will try to cut this as straight as I can. So now we have our 1 8 piece cut out to 2 and 1 8 inches long. Uh, and if you see, here is the 1 8 hole. And this is a 1 8 dowel, supposedly. But guess what? It doesn't fit. You want to know why? Because they might say it's 1 8, but it's a little bit bigger than that. So what we're going to have to do is find what end we want to sand down and take some sandpaper and just sand it down a little bit until you can get it in there to fit. I will add some super glue to it just to make sure it does not pop out. Okay, now that we have this sanded down, hopefully it is good enough to get in there and it is. It's nice and tight in there now. But like I said, I will add some super glue to make sure that it stays in there. So yes, I did forget to mention that you're gonna need uh, sandpaper for this project, but eh, can't remember everything, I guess. So just add some super glue to the hole. Go ahead and put that wood in there. Push it in there, make sure it's nice and tight. Make sure it looks pretty straight. And then just let that dry, it won't take long. So now we're gonna take the small wooden dowel, which I said is smaller than 1 8 uh, the size of this should be 332 roughly. Um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and mark this at an inch and then cut that off. So I'm going to go ahead and push this through and try to center it the best we can. Just eyeball it so it looks pretty much like this. And that part of the project is now done. So now for our next step is to take some more of these small wooden dowels and we're gonna we gotta give this thing an arch in this stick and it's really hard to do that like I can bend it like this in my hand um, it's hard to keep it like that really um, we're gonna be cutting this down after we get it set um, I found the best thing to do really is to use a little bit of sandpaper to just weaken it a little bit and it'll hold a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead, try to find my sandpaper. Hey, there it is. And uh, sand this down a little bit more. It might take a couple tries and you know, to get it. I, the first time I made one of these, I made the props, which if any of you guys have seen it on YouTube, I, I took pictures of it and put it up there in the community board. Um, this actually took me a little while to perfect. Um, I actually had to get the sticks, um, I had to kind of uh, get them wet too. I had to soak them a little bit of water and that seemed to help a bit. I mean, I tried with several of these sticks and I just kept breaking them. So if that happens to you, don't worry, just start over and do it again. So when you're sanding this down, all you want to do is just put it onto the sandpaper, put your thumb on top of it, and just kind of bend the stick while you're doing it. Don't give it too much pressure, but just sand it back and forth a little bit, kind of turn it in your hand, and just sand it down. Eventually you will get there. It takes a little bit of time, just be patient, and then just kind of Bend it like this a couple times and see how uh, it's starting to arch for you. So once you get them sanded down a, a thinner than they are, um, you're just going to want to take both of them together and see if you can get them to bend pretty much at the same angle. And like I said, it's gonna take some practice. 
So you want your arch to look pretty much like this and you want to have it so when we put the hemp rope on it, it will hold this in place where my fingers are right now. And uh, you want about a yeah, quarter an inch, I guess. So, you know, that'll work just perfect, just like that. So this is how thin I had to sand them down. It might be a little hard to tell, but it's about eh, close to halfway. So now I'm gonna take my super glue here and just put a little dot on there, just a little one, and wrap some of this hemp on there, this hemp rope, or string, and just let that sit there and dry. Only takes a few seconds. Then we'll take our two pieces of the wood that we thinned down, put them on each end of the pole, just like this. Okay, so now I got my two pieces of wood on here and I'm trying to hold them in place and try to keep that arch going. This, this can be a little bit uh, intimidating. Um, we can, it can be done. Just takes a little bit of patience because you're going to want to try to center this the best you can and of course you know this kind of wants to move on you while you're doing it but it, it can be done you just got to hold it just right and then just slowly start wrapping and do this tightly Do it about a quarter of an inch. Add some more super glue to it. Just dab it on there and kind of spread it on there so it'll hold that string and it won't come undone. So once that is super glued and it seems to be holding on quite tight, we'll take our little snips here and we'll just snip off the string. So that is held there and it's not coming undone at all. So now we have to clip all this excess off. So I'm just gonna pick a random spot, maybe about, yeah, quarter inch or less, just past the main pole here, and just clip them off. I'll do the same thing with the other side. Trying to make them about the same length. That one's a little bit shorter, so I'll cut this one down just a little bit more. Then I'm gonna take my hemp string and I'm gonna pick out eh, about, let's say, a, a, a foot of it, okay? And I'm gonna use my clippers here and I'm just gonna clip this. And what we'll do, probably not gonna use all of this, but it'll work, is just put this in between the two poles here and then just kinda tie it around the poles and I go in one way and out the other way you know thread it back through now I'll try going just different ways just trying to thread it different ways make it look like it's been tied down kind of like crisscrossing it then I just add some super glue find a spot only takes a second to dry and then I just clip off the extra on it. Same thing I will do on the other side. I will just start threading it through and try to tie it down or make it look like it's been tied down at least. And I will also once again loop it in and out through the poles. I'm not a professional knot maker. I'm not too worried about it. I just want to make it look like it was tied down. So when it's all said and done, and you've got it super glued and looking good, it should look just like this. And now we will move on to the next step. So the next step of what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our X-Acto knife or whatever kind of blade you guys have, and we're just gonna take the edges of the quarter inch dowel that we have, and we're just gonna rough it up, just kind of square it up, just you know, get rid of a little bit, just rough it up a bit. Nothing serious. We just don't want those perfect, really perfect edges. So we're just gonna chop it up a little bit, rough it up, make it look, look at, make it look beat up, a little used. Maybe put a little bit of line or so or something in it. Give it some uh, wear and tear in it. 
So then when we're done roughing up the post for the hanging brazier, we're gonna use these tiny little eye hook screws. Now you can get these at the craft store. I think I found these at Hobby Lobby, possibly Michael's, but you just gotta look for them. They are out there. And we're gonna put this in the top to hold the brazier. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this little eye hook and very carefully try to center it underneath the poles that we put on there that we tied up with the hemp and try to center it the best we can and just slowly just be patient and take your time turning and screwing this eye hook in there. It will go in. So hopefully you can see this, that the eye hook is in there and what we're gonna do now is just open it up a bit, make sure the part where it would open up is facing outwards. And we're just gonna bend that just a little bit, not much, just enough so we can take our little small loop we have here and install that in. First thing I wanna do is just make sure I got this hook lined up straight, which it is now, and now I will pop it in there. Hopefully, there we go. And now our loop is in there too. So now we'll get to the chain. So now for the chain, we're gonna need four lengths of them. And each one is eight lengths long, which is about an inch, maybe a little over. So I'm just gonna count these out and cut them out. So we'll cut the ninth one. And then take that link out. And then make sure it's eight. So now you should have your four chains, eight links long. We're gonna take those for now and we're going to loop them on that loop we just set up, which I should have probably waited on. But that's no big deal. I'll just pop the loop through. Now I'm gonna go ahead and connect all these chains in here. You just take that last loop Make sure it's pinched off good, that it's not open, or this little chain will just end up breaking off or falling off. And yes, you gotta have patience and sturdy hands, which I don't, so this is really fun to do. And now that I got my chains all hooked up, I'll set this back up, twist this loop back up so it's nice and straight. And now we're going to make the brazier. What are you guys still doing here? Part two will be out tomorrow. Go home.